What's up filmmakers, welcome back. Um, we're out here shooting a vlog in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. If you saw earlier, we were on top of a mountain, shooting the fog, rolling into the valleys. Um, I shot a lot of footage and I had some audio issues, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to save any of that footage. But Justin James is over here, um, and I just want in this vlog, I wanna talk about our mantra on the channel, and that's just go shoot. So you know that I talk a lot about that. That's sort of my closing statement in every video. And it's something I firmly believe in. Um, so as a filmmaker, as a cinematographer, director, photographer, you know, you really have to sharpen your skills. It's just like being a painter, an illustrator, a graphic designer. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get. So you don't always have to go out and shoot something extravagant. It doesn't have to be a film doesn't have to be you know something that is gonna mimic what you see on Instagram or on YouTube you just have to go out and shoot something simple so the more you get out there and you put your camera in your hands and you press record or you hit that shutter button the more experience you're gonna get it's like everything else practice makes perfect So essentially guys, really all it comes down to is just not letting people get into your head. You can't be worried about other people's opinions of you um, and you just can't let external forces get to you, you know, whether it is, you know, getting caught up in client work or your nine to five job, you have to pursue your dreams and pursue your passion if you ever want to be happy in life. And you know, that is coming from somebody that, you know, for a good portion of my life, I pushed a lot of things I wanted to do to the side and now like I'm full bore on them, like even shooting vlogs. I wanna shoot more vlogs on this channel. And before I was so worried about what people would think, you know, are people gonna think I'm egotistical? What are people gonna think when I'm out in public shooting? And I just don't care anymore, you know, because it is something I wanna pursue. It is something that I want to uh, add to my channel to make it a little bit more entertaining, something that'll give you guys a better glimpse of who I am and my personality as a person. Um, so I don't want to do just all gear reviews on this channel, you know, so the vlogs are going to be amped up tenfold and uh, You know that is me stepping out of my comfort zone and pushing myself in a new direction And I feel so much better for doing that and I can only imagine the weight lifted off of all of your shoulders If you just went out and you just went and shot what it is you wanted to shoot Justin and myself this morning, you know, he's fresh off of a eight hour work shift and I hit him up and asked him if he wanted to shoot and without hesitation, he decided he wanted to come out and shoot right after work and we decided we were gonna drive up the mountain. But this is something he and I do all the time. One of us will stay up after working third shift and meet up with the other one and we just go out and shoot. And that is not only, you know, for the love of it, but it's just to sharpen our skills as filmmakers and, you know, YouTubers and content creators and that's really what you have to do. So guys, one of the biggest tips I can give you for being a content creator or, you know, filmmaker or YouTuber is don't get caught up in gear. I know it's easy to say, especially when the people saying it have a lot of gear at their disposal, but you don't need that stuff at all. 
all you need is your smartphone buy an osmo pocket that's still one of my favorite cameras it's ultra affordable um, it's great for vlogging you know just don't get caught up in gear don't wait for that next piece of gear before you make something like i still use a lot of cheap crap and uh, i don't let it dictate you know my opinion on my work and i don't let it you know make me feel insecure when i'm around other people you know i just really honestly do not care what they think just hit record just do your thing and uh like i said it's just that mantra just go shoot you just have to put out the work because if you don't make it it's never going to get there all right guys so i got justin james here he's going to give you a few tips on what he does to keep pumping out videos and what he does to keep that creative fire burning so justin what do you got for us okay so this isn't exactly like a, uh, a list of tips, but this is something that has helped me because sometimes my upload frequency does suck because I get caught up in other things. Uh, just, you've got to make yourself do it. And I know that sounds uh, easier said than done, but when I say make yourself do it, uh, take steps. So whatever the first thing you do in your routine, whenever you go shoot, do that. Whether it's charging your batteries, putting your camera bag in your vehicle or by the door. Whatever the first step in your routine is, if you can get through that, tell yourself that's a small battle you won, go to the next thing. And this is something that's uh, helped me pump out more content here lately. And it's not that I'm now putting my content in front of everything in my personal life that I was doing before. It's just, I realized, hey, I've got this free time. Instead of uh, sitting on the couch or doing this, I'm gonna go create something. Even if it's something I'm not gonna put out later, I'm just gonna go create something. So just like his mantra, just go shoot so you know great advice um a wise man once said people are like water they take the route of least resistance make your art as easy for you as possible if you're having trouble making content like you said you know charge your camera batteries put them by the door you know if you can keep your camera stuff in your car uh, keep it on you, you know, whatever you have to do to be able to just whip out a camera or whip out a paintbrush, a sketchbook, um, whatever you can do to make creating as easy as possible. Like I said, it's not always about having the fanciest stuff, you know, like the A6400 is a very easy camera to just get up and run and vlog with. The Osmo Pocket's even easier. Your smartphone is the easiest, and that is literally all you guys need. So, do what you have to do to make it as easy as possible so you don't feel overwhelmed uh, when you do have that creative spark. All right guys, so keeping up with what I've been talking about, sometimes you just find the perfect shot, right? So sometimes you find the perfect drone shot and right now is that time and it is quite risky. Not to where it's gonna harm anybody, but it's quite risky to the drone. Now this may be the last voyage for our Mavic here. But I'm pretty confident I am not a freestyle drone pilot. I am a, you know, a drone cinematographer. I will take those smooth sweeping shots all day, give you something cinematic. We're gonna try something uh, a little different today. And um, so what we're gonna do is we've got this little bridge here. We're gonna see, see it behind me? It's got that tunnel. So what we're gonna do Gonna fly the drone through the tunnel and out the other side. And hopefully, this results in something that is gonna look as cool as I think it will. So, that footage should be now.
guys, we freaking did it. So I know it probably wasn't the trickiest of flying, but I will tell you the battery was low, the sensors were on, and the wind was heavy, so it was blowing the drone all over the freaking place. But we did it. I was a little bit uh it was a little bit sketchy there at first. We trimmed some trees, right? Did you get it? We yeah, trimmed it some trees. You hit that one right there. And uh ran into that tree a little bit the first go around. I think I got that one before. But the wind was whipping the drone everywhere. So dude, especially when you were over on the other side in front of the like on top of the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you play. could see it. It was it was oh, all over all, the place. All but here. um so definitely check out the footage from that. That was a little bit crazy. Was it worth it? Oh yeah. It was yeah. worth it. So um yeah so that's what i'm talking about guys i mean obviously don't go out there and do something stupid where you're going to hurt somebody or intentionally try to trash your gear but sometimes the reward is worth the risk wouldn't you agree i would greatly agree it may not be the coolest shot and it's not something that you can obviously directly relate to doing something dumb like that but tell me that wasn't an adrenaline rush right. i don't know because i didn't fly it yeah it was an adrenaline rush my heart's being a little quick right now but with that said you know we're talking about go out there shoot that film you know get your feet wet sometimes you get to jump in feet first climb the mountain paint the picture talk to the client get the girl whatever why the drone through the tunnel yep why the drone got through the your tunnel? bucket drone shot yeah. i crashed my spark doing <laughs> see but it was worth it right it was worth it, it was worth it, it was right. so with that that is a good way to summarize the entire vlog so as always remember just go shoot and I'll catch you on the next one.